Hey developers! So today I thought I would show you a kind of a cool trick that I found out recently. It's a way that we can show layouts really easily using this really small snippet of code. We can actually use it inside our Chrome browser. So I'll show you guys how to do that. We're going to look at how to do colors. And then we're also going to look at how inside Firefox we can do some neat things with CSS grid. So this is going to be a kind of a smorgasbord of different CSS tricks. So make sure you stay all the way to the end and you can learn all about it. Hey, and if you don't know, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also an author of the Vue.js in action book, which you'll find a description in the link be below. Um, first, let's get to talk a little bit about our sponsor. So for the sponsor for this video is Udemy. So Udemy is, I really like Udemy. They have some really cheap courses. Right now they have a sale for $11.99. You can get any of their courses. So normally they'll be like 20, 30. Some of them are like 100 or 200 dollars. You can get this mega sale, get them for really cheap. I put in the description below some of my favorite courses on Udemy. So if you happen to pick one up, click any of those links below first. Um, and if you do end up buying any of them, I get a few bucks. So really appreciate it. it helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, so check out the links in the description below. All right. So on to our tips and tricks. So look at this website. This is the New York Times website. You guys have probably all seen it. It looks pretty familiar. So what we want to do is see if we can um, look at the outlines and padding of everything on this page. So if you guys have ever done anything like this, usually you open up your Chrome Inspector tools and then you click this little button here, you select an element, and let's say you want to select this whole element here. You say, okay, this is this div element and this is the size. Um, a lot of times what I do is I just go to element style here and I'll type in like, you know, background, uh, background color and I'll, you know, I'll make it blue for instance. And I think we've all done that. It's just a real simple way of checking to see how far the div actually goes, what the kind of padding and margin is. And if you set the background, that'll give you an idea of what it is. Uh, another easy way to do that inside Chrome DevTools is I sometimes go and create a class. So I'll hit you know, a little plus arrow here, and then I'll type in a class name. I don't know. We'll call it my, uh, let's see here. We'll do, well, we'll hit the plus arrow. We'll type in right here. I'll call it, sometimes if you uh, press it too quickly, it just names it some random name. So I'll try that again, uh, dot my class. And then inside here, I'll put my background color, I don't know, purple. And then you can add that onto any div real easily. So I can just click on this div here and I'll now put the little CLS button and I can put in, um, let's see what I called it, my class. And that'll go ahead and add it to this div right here. And now you can see here it's purple at the top. So, I mean, that's it's an easy way of doing it. But what happens if we wanna do every element on the page? So there's a real cool way you can do that. And actually I got this out of a dev.2 and I'll make sure I put this link in the description below is you do this little chunk of JavaScript here where you set the attributes and you're appending um, kind of to the root element, this color. So you can see here you have background colors um, for each kind of level. And so if I just copy and paste this and I'm going to copy this, go back to my New York Times and refresh it and go to the console and I'll clear the console and I'll just copy and paste and hit enter. Boom, there it is. So you can see now we have all this New York Times. It's all in different shades. So I can see the red lines outline each in, into each individual box. I can see the padding between it. So I can really understand how this layout is. You can see here, this is probably some kind of absolute positioned text on the image. So, you know, if you're really trying to troubleshoot the layout of your site, this is an easy way to do it. Now, if you remember from last, uh, I did a video last time, um, last week, where I showed you how inside Chrome, T Chrome DevTools you can create snippets. So this would be perfect for a snippet. So we can go back to sources. We click on new snippet and we'll just copy and paste it there. And then we'll save it. And if we right click on it and go to run, there it does. And actually this, this one actually toggles it. So it'll toggle it on or off. If I right click on it again and go to run, it's back on. So that makes it really easy. Uh, so if I wanted to do that without having to find the sources tab and click on the snippet each time, 
remember we have this action bar. So if you do control shift P, I believe in Mac, it's like command shift P. You can type in, in this box here. So I'm gonna do control shift P and then I put bang or the uh, exclamation point. And then that'll show all my snippets. So I'll just go down to the snippet, hit enter and it runs. So I can go ahead and run it again. There it is. So now I can add that to my snippet inside Chrome. So whenever I need to do any quick layout work, there it is. It's perfect for me. All right. So that's the first trick of adding this kind of little layout snippet. I, I like it. So the next one is this one called all colors. And so let me show you how this, this works. I'm going to just copy and paste this. This is in a gist and I'm just going to refresh this. And let's say we wanted to check like every single color on this whole page and see where they all are. So we're going to create a new snippet. I know I can call these by the way, different names. I'm going to call this one color and I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to control S to save it. And now if I run this, it doesn't look like it did anything. However, if I look inside the console, now I have this really cool way of seeing the RGB values for every single color on this page. And if I click on any of these, I could just see what classes, what spans and divs are using these colors. So if you ever wanted to see, like maybe you have a style guide that you're trying to follow and you have certain colors that you need to follow, use, it, use this little snippet, then you can get all the colors in the page and make sure that you know we have it set up correctly. You can see here, this is, this is their like dark red and here are the different CSS classes for it. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty neat. Um, like the subscribe now is a blue button. If you probably scroll down to the bottom, you can find it in this big, huge page. Uh, but you can see that's just kind of a neat way of getting colors. Uh, it looks like it gave me a little bit of an error when I scroll down. So whatever the viewport is, you'll probably see the colors. Okay, so now we have our two new two new snippets, our script snippet and our color snippet, which is kind of cool. Uh, one other thing that I find re really useful is, let me grab um, my uh, Firefox here, is Firefox has CSS Grid. It has a better way of doing CSS Grid than the Chrome DevTools. And what I mean, mean, mean by that is, both of them obviously support CSS Grid. I think CSS Grid is, goes back all the way to IE11. It's like partially supported in IE11. However, the dev tools for Firefox are much better. And this was actually pointed out to me by one of my comments. And I, I didn't mention it in the video last time, but that's one of the reasons you may want to use something like Firefox because it does have pretty awesome development tools in it. So if I go into any web page and I right click and go to inspect element, I get this little bit of, uh, I get this, uh, very similar to our Chrome where I see the document type and the HTML that's being rendered on the page. Now, if I go into any of these div classes or any of these HTML elements that have grid in them, for example, this one has a grid column gap and grid template rows, and it has uh, this layout grid, which actually sets up the grid. There's this little button that says grid next to it inside the dev tools. If I click on that, I then get this option on the right hand side, you could see here, that it actually lays out the whole grid, every single spot, and then I can turn on all sorts of things. I can turn on display line numbers. You can see here that now I have line numbers up in the top and bottom and right and left. I have uh, area names, if I have any area names, in these case I didn't name anything. And then I can even extend the lines to infinite. infinite. So if you ever need to kind of determine, like this one says, look, grid column start one, grid column end three. Well, now you know because you have the line numbers right on the screen of when the grid column is going to start and when the grid column is going to end. Uh, on on Chrome, you're going to have to just do this all by uh, memory. You're going to have to just count it out all by yourself. While in Firefox, it just gives it all for you. So if you're doing a complex grid layout, just open up Firefox. It's just so much easier. And if you don't know that, uh, yeah, check it out. Here's another one. This is actually from the Mozilla website. And I can do the same thing. I just click the little grid button and I have all the one, two, three, four, five, six, all the numbers, and I can turn them on or off. And then I can also look at what the grid created and see exactly everything in it. And I can also like go in here and, and change the overlay grid. Nice thing too, is you can see here, they actually have a grid gap and the grid gap you can see right inside here because uh, between these two lines here to see how big the gap is between. 
And of course you could always change it on the fly, just like in Chrome, you could turn anything on or off or even add stuff interactively. All right, so uh, that that is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys just a couple, three quick tips on how to add in snippets, add in that cool CSS hack trick for the layout, for the colors, and then just a reminder on how to use Firefox with a grid layout. So I love to hear your guys' tips and tricks. Make sure you leave a comment below with what CSS tricks you guys use. Uh, if you guys use any snippets, yeah, just leave it all below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, take care. Peace.